发播出你的影片，详情请上 Discovery 网站。Lurking in this mountain range is an elusive life form. Some say its fleshy body mimics the human shape and that it possesses healing properties. Wild ginseng. Ginseng was first discovered in China over 3,000 years ago. Today, it's a much sought-after herb throughout Northeast Asia. This may look like your garden weed, but beneath the surface lies green gold. For centuries, the ginseng root has been used by Asians as a tonic to treat a range of conditions, from common colds to strengthening immunity. But cooking this tough little root can be a time-consuming process. For those looking for a quick fix, this might just be the answer: finely processed powder made from the highly prized herb that takes only minutes to prepare. So how do they turn an ancient medicinal root into a modern supplement? How do they do it? This is a farm with a very paranoid owner, and he has very good reasons to be. Growing under their feet is Asia's green gold, ginseng. By the 16th century, wild ginseng was becoming scarce, so people in Korea started cultivating them on farms like this. And it doesn't just grow anywhere. If sunlight is too strong, the plant's leaves wither, slowing its growth, and the soil must drain water efficiently, so clay sand is preferable. But farmers pander to its every whim, because even young roots like this can sell for a hundred U.S. dollars a pop. That's if he doesn't eat it all. But the real prize lies deeper in the mountains. He's venturing beyond the farms in search of wild ginseng. Only the most experienced can find this king of roots, and that's why they call him the master. To spot ginseng, you need a keen eye, a natural compass, and an ability to appreciate the wood for the trees. Here, the north and south of the direction is exactly right. 그 다음에 어, 수림의 상태가 어, 침엽수, 한엽수가 적당한 수림 상태가 됐기 때문에 선정을 하게 됐습니다. And when ginseng is spotted, 신밥다. he lets the whole world know in the traditional Korean way. 아 가지가 네 개고 잎이 다섯 개인 거 보니까 이게 4933, 정 4933 봤다, 신 봤다. Digging delicately to avoid damage, it can take up to half a day to retrieve a single root. So why all the hype about the old stuff? 동구는 왜 그러냐면은 산삼이라 하면은 산에서 이제 그 산의 전기와 지기 그걸 오랜 세월 이제 이 산삼의 몸통에 축적이 되므로 해서. Research seems to suggest that ginseng can help lower blood sugar. And enhance immune function. And according to some of the earliest written accounts of ginseng, it can quieten the spirit and curb emotions. Well, it seems to have done neither for him, but that's probably down to the price tag on this baby. Ninety-year-old ginseng can fetch up to fifty thousand U.S. dollars. For those too busy to hunt for wild ginseng, there may be an easier way to get a ginseng fix. This is where these scientists come in. They take a piece of wild ginseng and perform surgery, searching for a very tiny part of the root, the plant cell. Some believe certain plant cells are the reason plants regenerate throughout lifetimes that can span hundreds of years. Professor Gary Loke from the University of Edinburgh has recently published his research on these cells in Nature Biotechnology Journal. Plant stem cell is a cell that has the abilities to both replenish itself by cell division and also to change into a variety of uh, distinct uh, specialized cells. These multipotent cells are located in the tips of a plant's roots and shoots, and also in vascular tissue, but they're notoriously difficult to isolate. Researchers at this company have managed to isolate these multipotent cells, and name them dobule, 
or new star in Korean. And this has never been accomplished previously and is a major breakthrough in plant biotechnology. They now hope to grow ginseng cells in a lab instead of hunting for them in the wild, making life a lot more convenient for fans of this rare medicinal root. But it seems this scientist is not quite ready to share his technique with the world just yet. I'm sorry, but top secret. Once the researchers have these multipotent cells, they're then cultured in these jars, where they grow and grow and grow at an alarming rate. When they run out of room in the lab, over a trillion cells in a 250-litre tank are driven here for the final stage of the culture process. This is where they house the mammoth three-ton tanks. These cells aren't your garden variety mold, they need food to grow. These special nutrients are added into the tanks and mixed for 10 minutes. Water is pumped in at a comfortable 21 degrees centigrade and gently aerated to keep oxygen flowing to the cells. The fussy cells are then emptied into a giant jacuzzi through a sterilized pipe. In case the aeration isn't enough, a computer-controlled blade keeps spinning inside to stop them from sinking to the bottom. Fifteen days later, a whole new batch of cells is ready for collection. It takes more than a colander to strain these minute cells, and that's where this giant sieve comes in. Pressure pushes the liquid out of the tank to a filter press. Four hours later, dopule cake is scraped off the filter and collected in metal trays. But these soggy cells are not quite ready to be eaten just yet. This is not a Japanese capsule hotel, but a 200 kilogram freeze dryer. Bacteria are all around us, and they need a moist environment to grow. Freeze drying removes water from the cells, while leaving the structure and composition intact. Once dried, it can be kept without refrigeration and bacteria free for many years. Ginseng powder is now ready for packaging. It's weighed and put into a bottle designed to keep moisture out. Under the cap is a little container of silica gel. These are little beads with a high surface area that allow them to absorb water. Any moisture that creeps in is quickly sucked up by the beads, leaving the powder dry and light. The bottles are then carefully hand-packed. And bingo, an ancient medicinal herb packaged for the 21st century. All this while, the master is still looking for his route.